what about studies and athletics so sport sport work balance it's a big one that i get from a lot of athletes so how do they practically manage a sport and a studying balance again understanding where they want to be on their journey so some of our athletes want to go to ivy league school so maybe for some of our uk listeners it's you know, we're, t- we're talking about Yale, Harvard, Princeton. We're talking about the absolute elite schools in the United States academically. Even if you're amazing athletically, you have to have unbelievable grades. So if that's one of your aspirations, you have to understand that's part of, you have to train in that area of your life just as much as you have to train in the sport area. So you can't avoid that. If, if your goal is not to, you know, you have to consider what, what does that next stage look like? And again, there's pretty well worked out formulas. You need to achieve this SAT score. You need to do this with your grades to get to this school. So we can all help, you know, our coaches and our college placement people can help them understand if you want to go to this school at this level, you need to achieve this. So again, it's, it's a simple goal setting piece for some of our athletes. Academics is more important than sports. And for some of our athletes, it's definitely not. And again, that's a, that's a decision between the athlete, the family, and what their goal is. So I'm not the person to make that determination, but for me, it's understanding what does that journey look like. And for our coaches, we know early on, we had, and our, our sport coaches have the conversations, look, this athlete wants to go to Harvard. They're going to have to miss practice at some point in the season. When it comes to exam times, all of a sudden, academics just becomes more important than sport and and I, we understand that we absolutely understand that and the sport coaches understand that that there's going to be a time in a, in a year whereby there's going to be more emphasis placed on academics than there is in sport again not for all of our students but for certain students if that's their type of goal so i would say it's a private school education the opportunities are there does everybody want to do the extra classes and do all the necessary things to go to the best academic schools in the country no but it's there if they want to and we have to understand that some of our athletes balance both we had a i give an example we have a probably one of our top juniors he probably could have turned professional tennis um and incredible player from tibet and he decided he wanted to go to princeton but he's also one of like he could have turned professional so he's he had to balance he was traveling around the world doing junior tournaments while also balancing academics. So it can be done. It is just incredibly difficult to excel in two domains. And that's why those individuals are going to just be high achievers. There's going to be high achievers in life if you can balance that. But it, again, I didn't go to an Ivy League school. I'm not, that's not for everybody. So, you know, that that's how we try and balance it's understanding their journey, their goals, and also, to be honest, Lewis, understanding the family and what the family wants, because that is important in that journey. Yeah, I have no doubt you're going to have some families that went sent to IMG Academy. They're thinking, that's it. Ticket to stardom's happening. We're, we're already in here. So pack your bags. No, it's, it's fascinating. And I get asked, I, the, I asked about that question because I get asked about how I balance studying and training and I have really wrapped my head around it and I'm trying to still think about what I did. It's almost like a bit of a blur, but I, I got good grade. I didn't get grades that I definitely, definitely should have, but I didn't go to a, I didn't go to a private school. So my, as a state school kid, I was, and I had real lacking facilities in the sport that I, I was trying to excel in. So I quite literally would leave school. I would almost run home and then try to get to a training facility to go and practice which would be the time in which I would probably need to study. But by the time I had got to 17, 18, I remember being called into an office with a with a teacher saying like, look, you're, you're not really excelling in the level that you want. And I still to this day will remember it. I just said, yeah, because I want to be a professional athlete. And like the way she looked at me and just went, that's not a, re- that's not a real thing. Like the, you're not going to be able to sort of do that. I was like, no, I'll do it. Uh, and I just, uh, and I said, and I remember saying to her, I said, don't worry, I'll get the grades to be able to get into university. And I did, like I did get them because I found a way, but I'm just trying to think, like wrap my head around like, practically what I did. And it is a commitment. It is a really tough commitment. And I just think of that period as you really get your head down, you really do it. And and, and I 
was probably blessed that there's not as many distractions now. I didn't have the algorithms tearing me into my device that are really actually like that that cannot be it's no longer an elephant in the room like that elephant is the room like that is a that's a reality so i i do i don't think i can even give advice to a young athlete right now in that scenario because i didn't have the challenges the draws externally kind of what exists right now hello you legend if you've enjoyed this video then you might enjoy this video right here which is the full unedited episode go on head up to it up there go also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. I'll see you soon.